Hello everyone, it's me, Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and uh, finally the time has come for me to share with you yet another trading plan. As you know, in the past few weeks we've been uh, working and sharing with you uh, only the free beginner formation. You can check it on, on our YouTube channel uh, right now. Uh, it's a pretty much um, some easy lessons for you if you're a beginner to start your trading career. Now, let's get on with the plan itself. Uh, what you currently see on the screen are a lot of charts. I just want to go through a few of the plans uh, we are following uh, with our uh, clients. I won't go into any details on them and I'll uh, choose one trading plan uh, which we are going to look at and um, go into uh, more details about it. So, uh, starting with, you can see the this is the USD CAD daily time frame. Uh, we started following this plan with our uh, clients when the price was here, making this double top, and uh, we still expect it to continue further down, at least to here or even to this uptrend line down below. Uh, the second plan, is the NSD USD. Uh, we've been following this plan for a very long time now uh, and trying to exploit this daily range you see. Uh, we had some nice trades on it, especially uh, in the past week. And uh, now when the almost uh, the bottom of this range was reached, we continue following it as we expect for the price to move further up back to the resistance area or the top of the range area. The third plan uh, we've been following for the uh, past few days, uh, the beginning of this week, is on the Euro Japanese Yen. I've noticed this uh, possible double bottom here at the daily support. Uh, you can see the plan already developed uh, around 60, maybe even 70 percent. Uh, but there is still room until uh, the price reaches this daily resistance and it might actually continue further up from here but uh, we'll discuss uh, that plan in further details and lower time frames with our uh, customers. Now let's get to the plan which I want to share with you today. Uh, it is based on the Swiss franc Japanese yen. Uh, you can see this is the daily time frame. And I've marked a few areas already, I just want to uh, talk about them a bit. So uh, currently the price is just below this daily resistance area 1. Uh, you can see we had a few reactions from there already. Uh, here you can see the, uh, this area acted as a strong support and here after the break the price retraced to it and made a huge swing down. So I do expect from here to see the formation of a new downtrend uh, reaching down to that daily support area here uh, which is formed by this uh, small consolidation we had here before this uptrend wave. You can see the price once uh, reached this area already and bust from it. So uh, we actually have two tops here, one bottom and uh, we can consider that the pair is moving already in a range between those two areas. Uh, one more important thing here is the 200 uh, moving average, a uh, 200 period moving average. Uh, it tends to act as a support or resistance level. Uh, currently the price is below it and uh, you can see how this uh, 200 moving average is uh, going directly in the middle of this daily resistance area so um, this would be uh, a lot harder to break not only that we have this area but also the moving average inside it however if it breaks uh, which for me is not a highly possible scenario uh, we can expect the price to move further up to the uh, second daily resistance area uh, up here you can see how the price reacted from it, both as a support and as a resistance. But I will mainly focus on uh, the sell scenarios here. Let's move to the H4 time frame and see what's happening there. I will remove the uh, 200 moving average and uh, make it more clear. So uh, you can see where the current uptrend started. And if we mark it, 
we can see that we had this first uptrend wave, a downtrend correction, another uptrend wave, a small downtrend correction and an uptrend wave. So this completes a full five wave cycle. Uh, you can see that the price actually didn't go below uh, this sort of uh, a zone, this uh, previous high point. So uh, yeah, uh, I consider this uh, cycle to be completed now and uh, I expect two possible scenarios here. Either the price will uh, move in sort of a range fashion, consolidation before moving down, or we'll directly see um, a downtrend move from here to there. Or at least it won't be that straight, but um, I expect to see something like uh, that here. So, uh, where di does this leave us? Uh, we can see that the previous uh, top was somewhere here, uh, we can consider it like that, like a small area here. So um, I do expect uh, the price, if it, the trend uh, is reversing, the price to uh, actually quite easily break this uh, previous top and this will be my confirmation that uh, the trend has reversed and we can expect uh, the downtrend to move further down, probably back to that daily support area down here. Uh, this would give us some nice opportunities on the lower time frames. Uh, let me delete the, a few things so you can see better what's happening now. So let's go. So uh, I'll actually uh, wait for a break here of this level. Uh, so probably something like a move Okay, made it too big uh, this line, but a move to somewhere here, then probably a short correction and then a move further down. Uh, so this would give us the opportunity to open a new position uh, somewhere here after the correction finishes. I wouldn't open a position uh, right here at the break uh, because we might see a small a reversal from this uh, level here, the 111.35 level. Uh, of course, you can try and open a position right here. It's a bit more riskier as we uh, still don't have a confirmation of the trend reversal. But let's open the uh, 30 time frame, see what's happening there. Uh, we can see that currently uh, the price is starting to um, move inside here in this small consolidation so you can try to open a position uh, when the bottom of this consolidation is broken but as i said it would be quite risky because just below uh, we actually have the previous top uh, level on the h4 so uh, we might actually see another pullback up before the actual downtrend continues so I would advise you to wait for a break of this previous H4 top. Uh, this will be a confirmation that the trend, trend has reversed and from there on you can start looking for sell opportunities all the way down to this daily support on M30. That's what I'm going to do. This is it regarding this plan. Uh, it will be shared on TradingView where you can track its progress and of course, I will be sharing live signals based on it in our Telegram channel, uh, which is completely free. You can join through the link below this video. Thank you very much and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the little bell button uh, so you get notified whenever we post some new content. Thank you again and have a profitable week.